We got rid of verticillium wilt in our tomato patch by growing buckwheat all around our tomatoes. We planted our tomatoes right into patches of buckwheat. We also made sure to choose disease resistant varieties. See the initials here? The V is for verticillium and the F is fusarium. And those will be plants that will be resistant to the types of wilt we get. But buckwheat really was the key, and it's pretty in a cottage garden kind of way. It's white, it's lacy, but it also comes in pink. And we got a hold of some of the pink buckwheat seeds this year, and here it is sprouting within a few days of planting. So pink buckwheat is also called takane, which means expensive in Japanese, and it is a bit. But it is a very long-lasting flower, and most of our buckwheat will be white, and it will come in an 8-ounce pack because it's very easy to find in bulk. You can find even larger packs. After two years of buckwheat and using these resistant plants, we really don't see verticillium wilt anymore. It's such a relief. And so in late summer, we started to see the fusarium start to creep up, but there's so much less of it, we're able to remove the yellowing leaves and stop the spread as late summer goes along. It's probably the phosphorus that the buckwheat pulls up through the soil, but we've got a couple more tricks up our sleeves for controlling mold and fungus elsewhere in the garden, and, and these ideas might surprise you. We can't wait to share them. See you later.